What's going on everybody? We're here with another diecast video. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing NASCAR Authentics number six, Brad Kozlowski's 2023 Wave 9. Car looks good. Love this paint scheme. Paint scheme's freaking awesome. I actually cannot say anything negative about this paint scheme. So far from the packaging looks really good. Love that kind of tealish for Brad Kozlowski's name. Like that. Like I said, it's 2023 Wave 9. And actually, here's what the back looks like for the whole entire wave. You got the 91, you got the 38, the 7, 43. Of course, you got Brad. You got the 7, you got the 19, you got the 9, and you got the 13. And look for the U.S. Armed Forces chase piece. Actually, I was never able to find that chase piece. I actually can't find any chase pieces. They're so freaking hard to find around like my area of course my area only has a walmart we don't have target or anything like that so unfortunately i was never able to find this chase piece but i do actually have every car from this wave car looks good like i said from the packaging standpoint do you miss the sticker i mean of course wave eight was the last time we'd actually see the stickers or the well yeah the stickers because they stopped making the hoods a long time ago but this looks good. Love the packaging. Cannot wait to actually open this bad boy up and take a closer look at it. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually got that bad boy opened up. Now let's take a closer look at it. Now on the left side, you have the white interior. Wave 9 had the black interior. Wave 8 has the white interior. You got Brad Kozlowski's name with the American flag. You got the number 6. Of course, that's just done in silver. It's not done in that. Uh, reflected what is it the uh, I can't think of it now the chrome it's not done in chrome since it's NASCAR Authentics you have the yellow Goodyear there you have the Goodyear Eagles on the tires all four tires have it you have the six you have the NASCAR Cup Series 75th anniversary sticker Castro Edge with Fastenal see what these other ones are I can't really make Mac tools can't make out the other two you got the ethanol ring like i said you got that white interior so you can actually see a little bit better inside of it on the back you got castro edge you got rfk you got ford and you got the six you have castro edge on the back deck of course you have no name on the back windshield unfortunately because this is nascar authentics they got to cut somewhere but can't make the stickers so i guess we lose out on even more you got castro edge you got fast and all you got the six nascar cup series 75th anniversary and you got the half gear shift you got the seat and you have the steering wheel inside uh no well actually you can see a little bit of pedals down there but that's about it and then you got the good gear on the front there with the sunoco is like off badly you got the mustang you got rfk castro edge that's what it actually looks like from the front. You got the six on top, but you actually do have the roof flaps. I know some of Wave 8 did not have roof flaps. But, of course, they don't open or anything because it is in NASCAR Authentics. And on the bottom, you got the 2023 Ford Mustang under license, Lionel Racing, made in China. And all four tires do roll. Car looks good overall. I love this paint scheme. Car looks really good. I I just don't have nothing else to say because this car is just one of my favorites. Well, actually, let me take a closer look at it before I actually say that. Um, it's a decent wave in my opinion. I mean, the 43 looks really good. That's probably my favorite paint scheme out of the whole wave. The 7 looks decent. The 38, love the pink and white. That's just my overall. The 91 just looks pretty much always the same you got the seven uh, the 19 which is if I'm not mistaken that's the clash paint scheme kind of very similar I think it's just a little bit more orange on it then uh, Chase Elliott's nine it looks the same as last year honestly in my opinion and you got Haley Deegan and being in a 13 but overall this this wave looks pretty good I still think wave eight's been my favorite wave out of all of them but overall it looks good love this paint scheme of course is probably my favorite in the whole wave that's just my opinion but now let's look and see how many flaws are on this car uh there's a well that must have been just a piece of dust uh, 
right, left side looks really good. Actually, there's no bubbles on it. The top looks good. There is a little bit there, but it's not much to really say anything about. Huh? Back looks good. Uh, now let's take it right to the right side. Looks good. No air bubbles. This looks really phenomenal good. No air bubbles at all. But we take the sticker away for Wave 9. But you don't change nothing about the car. Ah, still wish we had those decals up or the name names on the windshields and the back. I mean, that's just that's my only thing about NASCAR Authentics. If we can just get those two things, I think these will look so much better. I mean, you take away, like I said, the sticker. Man, you just don't give us nothing new on the car, unfortunately. But that's how I guess how it goes. I ain't the one that makes them. I just do the reviews on them. So that's going to do it for this review for Brad Kozlowski's 2023 Wave 9. If you want to see more of them, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again with another diecast video. I was about to say diecast video short, but I'll see you again with another diecast review.